guys and welcome back to my channel for this week's video I have changed this video so many times because I have refilmed it this is the fourth time that I am filming this video I'm really hoping I'm in focus this time because I've literally focused this thing like 300 times and if I'm not in focus oh well because I'm getting this video up but anyways this week's video was supposed to be a week in my life and then it changed to a drive with me and then the drive with me audio was horrible and did not work right as what I wanted it to like sound like. It just was, it sounded like I was very underwater. It was really weird. And then last night I filmed this same video, but then when I went to put the footage in, I was completely out of focus and super blurry and you couldn't even really see my face. So hopefully this time I am actually in focus. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video of me telling you which celebrities I have met in my life so far. So the first set of celebrities that I met were at a radio show in 2006 and basically I met Drake Bell, sort of, kind of. I kind of was like in the crowd of people that were meeting him and he was signing things and like taking pictures with people and stuff like that and I literally was like as close as I am to like my hand right here. Like I literally was so close to him and like I literally could like touch him. That's how close I was to him. But it was just like, he wasn't, it almost like, his, it almost was like his meet and greet wasn't put together correctly. And um, he wasn't behind like a table or anything. Like he was just like walked out and everybody just crowded around him. So that was really cool because he was like the most popular person there because Drake and Josh was really huge. And that was like such a cool um, experience to like see him and him be like the first celebrity that I've ever like sort of kind of met. Then I also got to meet that same night, I got to meet... Uh, Brooke Hogan and Hulk Hogan and I think Paul Wall and Bowling for Soup and I don't know if I did meet her or not but I know um, that I did get a souvenir. I got to see Cheyenne Kimball perform and she was like a solo artist back then and she also had a show on MTV and I was put into a raffle ticket thing um, and I won this DVD of her show on MTV which is signed by her and this was back in 2006 so this thing is old like this is over 10 years old of a DVD which is awesome to still have I also like to keep all of my tickets my backstage passes like all of that stuff hung up in like a um, uh, what's it called in like a collage and so this is my little collage of things I don't have my Carrie Underwood tickets in here and a couple of other tickets just because they're on paper or they're in a different collage that I made. The next person that I met or actually was supposed to meet and we'll kind of like go through really quickly was Carrie Underwood. I was supposed to go and meet her and then go to her concert which I did go to her concert and I had a, amazing seats there. That was my first like actual arena concert and I didn't end up getting to meet her because the e email of the tickets got lost and were not like they didn't tell us exactly how to get the VIP tickets before the concert so we ended up missing that opportunity but anyways that was a really cool concert because she actually noticed me in the um I have a picture in my collage of all the pictures that we took that night and there's a picture of her like staring like staring at the camera as my mom was taking a picture of me with her in the background and it's so cool and it's like such a like sentimental moment and she actually like waved to me and it was just a really cool night. I loved, loved, loved her concert. Then the next person that I actually fully met was Cody Simpson. And I know that's really random, but basically how I found out about his little concert here was that I didn't know anything about it. I now I found out about it two days before it actually happened. And he happened to they had a meet and greet set up for the concert for it was like another radio show basically where multiple people were coming to perform and basically he had a separate meet and greet at a um, local music store which sadly just closed and I'm so sad about that but um, they had like if you bought his CD he would sign it for you and you could meet him and stuff like that so me and my friend went and met him that day and then later that night I went back to um, the con I went back to the concert and saw him perform and saw a bunch of other people. I believe like uh, Megan and Liz were there, and um, I think uh, either it was 
I know at one of these concerts I did see a Hot Chill Ray and then I also saw 303. So one of those two was there. Oh yeah, they were at the same one or they were at two different ones. I can't remember. The next person or people I should say that I met. In 2013 I got to meet One Direction and it was the one of the best experiences ever. And I got to go to their sound check. I got to go and meet them. And it was really weird because like when I when we were going actually how the meet and greet happened was you had to go through like a turned hallway. My friend that I was with was a huge Harry Styles fan and when she saw, um, when she like turned the corner and saw Harry for the first time in real life, she freaked out and she was like, oh my gosh, I see Harry Styles. And was like freaking out and it was so funny. She like fell on the floor, it was hilarious. And um, let's see. And then when I got my chance to meet all of them, everybody was like asking them for hugs. And so I was like, oh, well, I'll just ask them for a hug too, because why not? And they ended up like huddling around me like a football team. And Harry was like right across from me and he was like naming off like uh, plays and stuff, like just like pretending like he was like doing that or whatever. And then we just all just went like break and like let and like got, went away from each other. But it was like really weird and awkward. And um, cause like, it was just like overwhelming because they were all just like surrounding me for like no really reason at all no no real reason at all and then like Nye was like telling me to like do the west west coast sign or something like that like some random like hand signal sign to him whenever he was on stage like he was like if you see this sign like wave to me or like do the same sign or whatever so you know that like i'm like we're like i don't know it was really weird but um yeah he like told me to do this like weird hand signal and then the next person that I met was Michael Eli, who is the lead singer of the Eli Young Band. It was pretty cool seeing him in concert and um, I think Jake Owen. Yeah, Jake Owen was there and I think he actually walked past. We were backstage in the backstage area just hanging out with him. And um, he actually walked past and we got to say hi to him too. Then the next person or people I should say that I met, I did go to the R5 concert and that was an amazing concert and the meet and greet was really cool and my mom actually went with me and she is a huge Dancing with the Stars fan so when she saw that Riker was there um, she was like oh my gosh you should do like the Jack Sparrow thing and she, he actually did the Jack Sparrow like pose at, in her picture whenever she took the picture with him and that was such a fun concert and so cool and like I didn't really know if she would like their music, but she really, really liked their music, and they did a bunch of throwbacks like Elvis and like just all kinds of different like throwback songs and stuff like that, like 80s music, and it was really, really cool. And um, and I also went to that same. I think it was the same year. I actually went to Warp Tour. And the main reason why I wanted to go to Warped Tour was because of We The Kings were going to be there. And I actually met Danny Duncan, the drummer, and then I met Charles Trippy, which if you saw my Meeting Charles and Ali Trippy video, you would know this already. If you haven't seen that video, I will link that below. But sadly, I didn't get to meet Travis because we left before they actually had their actual meet and greet. And I kind of sort of met Hunter and Coley, but they kind of walked off whenever I caught up to Danny. Um, to take a picture and say hi that I was like a DLV and all that kind of stuff. The final people that I've met so far is Julianne and Derek Huff and I have a whole video on that experience. It was such a cool um, experience to go and do that because their VIP was like the best VIP I've ever been to. They had the best merch that they gave out. They had um, the best like Q&A session and we were actually like in the video I actually mentioned that I was two rows behind or ahead of they were two rows back on the uh, next to us um, their whole entire family was there because part of the family lives in Nashville and that's where their show was at and it was really really fun and really cool to experience that I felt like I was like part of their family and it was just really really cool and um, I just felt like they actually really truly cared about their fans other than just like being like oh they're here to see us whatever you know they actually wanted to make you feel like you were part of their family and it was really yeah. cool so that is all I have for this week's video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below if you've met any of these same celebrities or any other celebrities and what was it like to meet them and also let me know of any other video ideas that you would like to see I have a couple of them already in mind but if you have any other ones just let me know and make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on 
turn on the, once you push subscribe, there will be a little notification bell button that will pop up. And YouTube has been kind of messed up with like the um, subscription boxes and things. So if you click that, you will be notified immediately on your phone or your email or whatever to, um, that you know that I uploaded basically. So yeah, follow me on all my social medias. I'll have those linked down below as always. And I will see you guys in my next video.